You meet her, come early in the morning. Come half an hour early. Come half an hour early and then uh, talk to her. Later you should tell. Okay, so uh, let's move on to the second chapter, Companions by Arkena. This uh, Raja Rao. So, in the pre reading activity, we discussed about Raja Rao, about uh, how he projected Indianness okay, in his uh, writings. And we also discussed how uh, writers, especially English educated writers in India and Africa, face this dilemma okay, regarding whether to write in uh, their own mother tongue or to write in English. So, finally, they came to a conclusion that in order to have a wider reach of audience, reading audience, it's better to write in. English, but bringing in the Indianness or the Africanness in the writing. That is what Chino Achebe also did. Okay, so uh, companions, companions means friends, okay, whom you can resort to or whom you can depend on during your difficult times. Okay, here it is about a serpent. Here it's a usually companions we associate with uh, another human beings, but there is which says. Who, who can, which animal can be our best companion? They say dogs are human's best companions. Okay, but here is another such uh, creature. It is here, it is serpent. It was a serpent such as one sees only at a fair. Long and many colored and swift in repose when the juggler stops his music. So the serpent or the reptile or the snake that we see in any fairs, usually it, uh, they would have removed the teeth for the tooth of that serpent so that it will not harm anybody. So the, the one such serpent is what is being talked about. But it had a secret of its own, which none knew except Moti Khan, who brought it, who brought him to Fatehpur Sunday Fair. So what is uh, special about this uh, snake or the serpent is it had a secret. Only Moti Khan, who brought this to the Fatehpur uh, Fair, knew about it. The secret was, what is the secret? His fans would lie without when um, till the day Moti Khan should see the vision of a large white rupee with the Kutub Minar on the one side and the face of the emperor on the other. So what is the speciality of the snake? Usually we consider these snakes as venomous, poisonous, but this snake will not get that venom or poison in that in its fangs until Moti Khan see the vision of the large white rupee. So he could be colorblind with the Kutub Minar on the one side and the face of the emperor on the other. That day, the fang would eat into his flesh and Moti Khan would only be a corpse of a man unless he finds God. So, picture here, our beliefs, myths are brought in. Okay, you many a time. For to tell you the truth, Moti Khan had caught him in the strange of strange circumstances. So how did this encounter was one day going through of Rampur. Sita Apple fruit, you know, okay, 
many a times you don't have see how he has used the indian word here okay sita pala sita pala so in most of the vernacular languages it's pronounced like this so for most of the indian words you don't have the exact english equivalent okay he was one day going to the sita pal wood of rampur on a visit to his sister and the day being hot and the sands all scorching and shiny he lay down under a wild fig tree he stubbed on his face and legs stretched across a stone so as he was going to meet his sister he felt tired in those days there was no means of communication or transport so uh, they had to depend on their walk okay during one such walk he felt tired and rested under a fig tree sleep came like a swift descent of dust what do you mean by dust dawn to dust what do you mean by dust time of sunset okay you need not say after sunset or before you can just say time of sunset sleep came like a swift des- descent of dusk and after rapid visions of palms and hills and dizzying sunshine he saw a curious thing so in his dream while he was sleeping there he saw he sees many curious things what is this a serpent came in the form of a man this is what he sees in his dream day dreaming a serpent came in the form of a man opened its mouth and through the most queer twistings of his face declared he was pandit srinath shastri of totepur so in his dreams he sees a snake which transforms its itself into a man and declares that it is this person who is that person pandit srinath shastri of totepur who having lived at the foot of the goddess lakshmi for a generation or more one day in the ecstasy of his vision he saw her the benign goddess straight and supple offering him two boons again in his dreams he finds who finds this person this pandit god uh, this uh, goddess in his dream and this goddess offered him two boons what boons do you need so this is what he asks he thought of his falling house and his mortgage ancestral lands so at that time he was in a pathetic financial condition therefore he thought of overcoming that therefore what did he ask he thought of his falling house and his mortgage ancestral land and said without a thought a bag full of gold and liberation from the cycle of birth and death so this is what most of the spiritual hindus see okay they say uh, the human uh, cycle should end means once there should be no rebirth there should be the end of the cycle okay he, he said there should be liberation from the cycle of birth and death and gold you shall have said the goddess so the goddess lakshma asked the what two boons he requires this for this pandit he had said two one is the gold and liberation from the cycle of birth and death the god said for gold and with the god said and gold you shall have said the goddess but for your greed you shall be born a serpent in your next life before reaching liberation so since this pandit was greedy okay the god punished him saying you are very greedy you want to escape the cycle of birth and death means what it does not want to die at all to continue so for that the god is for life of yours before you reach liberation moksha they say that's why after death of a person they do a 11th day or the 12th day ceremony okay to give that for the atma or the soul a uh, full liberation because it will be wandering around it seems after a death of a person the soul of that person will be wandering around the particular place of the residence for almost 11 days or 12 days only after uh, only after the relative is offer so uh, 12 days uh, conduct this 12th day ceremony their soul will get liberated so that is why when there were uh, too many covid deaths and when their own their own family members were hesitant to perform the burial or to the, the puja the government only did it Uh, it was a mass burial and it was a mass twelfth uh, day ceremony kind of thing. Okay, for gold and wisdom, go in life. Gold, uh, go, uh, gold and wisdom, go in life like soap and oil. So they say money and knowledge will not be together all the time. If you have money, it's difficult to have knowledge. If you are knowledgeable, many times it's difficult to have money. Now, 
times have changed if you have knowledge you can make money through patenting copywriting those kind of things soap and oil it's these are all indian terminologies okay that's why when you apply oil to your hair you use it with uh, soap net powder try to cleanse it with soap net powder or shampoo because they are dead against see these terminologies only indians can relate to whereas the westerners will not be in a position to relate go and be born a jugular serpent this is the punishment go and be born as a not just ordinary snake a jugular serpent jugular means who plays with snakes you not know, who entertains people with snake or a magician jugular refers to a magician and when you have made the hearts of many men glad with the ripple and swing of your shining flesh and you have gone like a bird amid shrieking children only to swing round their legs and to swing out to the amusement of them all when you have climbed old men's shoulders and hung down them chattering like a squirrel when you have thrust your hood at the virgin and circled round the marrying couples when you have gone through the dreams of pregnant women and let the seekers to the top of the mount of holy beacon then your sins will be worn out like the corn with man's grindings and your flesh will catch fire like the below the west and disappear into the world of darkness where men await the birth to come so look at the punishment that this uh, goddess kenchama has given to this pandit for being greedy apart from being a juggler snake okay these are all the mythological characteristics that we attribute to a snake what are these what should this uh, snake do as a juggler snake i will repeat when you made the hearts of many men glad with a ripple and swing of your shining flesh so when people watch you dancing the snake dancing or moving around it should um, make them happy you are gone like a bird amid shrieking children how will the uh, children uh, scream when they find a snake moving towards them okay even that should also happen only to swing around their legs and to swing out to the amusement of them all you should amuse everybody whomever you meet you should amuse them when you have climbed old men shoulders and hung them down chattering like a squirrel so many a times people use it as a act of fancy and also at times accidentally if a snake is on their shoulders how will they react just like how the squirrel runs around when people run around like that only to swing round their legs and to swing out to the amusement of them all so its primary purpose is to keep people happy when you have climbed old men shoulders and hung down them chattering like a squirrel when you have thrust your hood at a virgin and circled around the marrying couples so these are all the beliefs let's say if a woman is not getting married not finding a proper match they should offer puja not only women even men even today we have this uh, belief those who are unmarried if they are not able to find a appropriate match they should either visit any of the snake related temples it would be dati subramanya or kukke subramanya if you are aware of it okay circle around the marrying couples and even if they are not getting children also they should offer prayers when you have gone through the dreams of pregnant women and let the seekers to the top of the mount of holy beacon then your sins will be owned out like the corn with man's bindings so only when it does all these activities the sin committed by this pandit will vanish okay and your flesh will catch fire and the snake will eventually die that part that life will die like the below west and disappear into the world of darkness where men await the birth to come so this uh, this snake this pandit after being born as a snake jugular snake has to perform all these activities to overcome the punishment the jugular will be a basket maker and moti khan is his name so the goddess kenchama has only decided under the whom the snake will be working or will be performing so that person's name is basket maker who makes baskets okay his name is moti khan okay in a former life he sought god but in this he sits on the lap of a concubine okay in a former life he sought god again why what is the punishment why is the punishment for moti khan moti khan again it is all belief hindu religious beliefs that if you are suffering in this uh, life it's because of the sins that you committed in your past life so these are all the past life regression now people are trying to identify scientific logic for that but uh, earlier have you seen programs in uh, television 
that they will take you to the past life regression have you watched it okay so similarly here also uh, it says the kenjama says okay in the past life motikan had saw had sought for god means he wanted to be near god but now he is on the uh, lap of the concubine concubine refers to a prostitute okay wending his way to his sisters for the birth of her son he will sleep in the sita pal for see everything is predetermined this is what the karma theory says so even uh, they cite incidences from ramayana and mahabharata they say everything is predetermined we are all just actors okay so everything is uh, what do you say directed okay yeah, this uh, kenjama goddess also says to this uh, pand okay there will be a person by name motikan who will be traveling to his sister's place expecting his sister to deliver a baby boy baby child okay and while he is sleeping in the sita pal for you can meet him speak to him and he will be the vehicle of your salvation so why should the serpent meet sita this uh, motikan motikan is the way for the serpent salvation thus spoke the goddess did you understand did you get clarity motikan it's it's uh, like uh, past and present events okay the situation is that of motikan motikan is on his way to meet his sister who is expecting a baby okay but while walking he feels tired he rests under a fig tree okay and there is a incidence of the serpent also and how did this serpent came into existence is explained in this few paragraphs okay the serpent was earlier a pandit when the god when the goddess appears before him and ask him what do you need what two boons do you need okay since he was in a financial uh, problem he asked for gold and then he says he want to escape from the liberation of he want he wanted to be liberated from the cycle of birth and death god god is kenchama finds this greedy the second demand greedy therefore god is punishes the pandit to be born as a serpent not just a serpent a juggler serpent okay and it it mandated the serpent to entertain everybody and who is the juggler motikan is a juggler what it got the context now what do you say to that motikan so everything god is is only telling yes i have been a sinner but never thought i god and satan would become one who are you the very same serpent your race has caused the fall of adam see again you find the integration of different philosophies hindu and christian okay i hope you all are aware of the adam and eve story okay the serpent attracts uh, eve to the apple tree and she consumes apple and then from there the sin starts okay so this you don't have it in hindu mythology but it is integrated your race has caused the fall of adam who which race snake i sat at the feet of sri lakshma man fell into ecstasy i am a brahmin you are strange tell me or i will haunt you for this life and all lives to me and all lives to me go set and shout at motika and rising swift as a swad he started for his sister so so the serpent meets motika and this is the interaction that happens they interact so the seta the serpent says i am being sent and i am the and you are my means through which i can attain salvation motika is not interested he starts to walk and rising in swift as a swad he started for his sister's house he said to himself i will think of my sister and her child i will think only of them but leaves rustled and serpents came forth from the left and the right blue ones and white ones and red ones and copper colored ones long ones with short tails and short ones with bent tails and serpents dropped from tree tops and rock edges serpents hissed on the river sands he could not escape that serpent because wherever he moved there are plenty of serpents of different colors from top of the tree also serpents started falling on him okay then motikan stood by the rampur stream and said wretch stop it come i will take you with me so frustrated about too many serpents he said finally agreed to take the serpent along with him okay the pandit transformed into a serpent then the serpents disappeared and so did the hissings and hardly home 
he took a basket and put it in a corner and then he slept and when he woke a serpent had curled itself in the basket this is a very intelligent serpent okay he took it to his own okay and slept and it had curled it itself in the basket moti khan had a pungi made up by a local, local carpenter pungi again indian terminology you can call it as a flute okay which the snake charmers use okay to uh, manipulate or monitor the snakes and putting his mouth to it he made the serpent dance all the villagers gather around him and all the animals gather around him for so the music of moti khan was blue and the serpents dance serpent dance on its tail dance on its tail okay so uh, his music was so attractive that irrespective of human beings animals and even the serpent started dancing when he said goodbye to his sister he did not take the road to his concubine but went straight northwards for allah called him there okay he had a relationship with one of the prostitutes okay after meeting his sister he did not go back to her instead went towards the north direction in order to find allah find his god see how uh, different cultures are integrated islam christianity and hinduism and at the very village men came to offer food to moti khan and women came to offer milk to the serpent for it swung round children's legs and swung out and cured them of all scars and poxes and fevers this is another uh, belief that we have okay many a times you would have seen uh, if you have any skin allergies okay the local tradition uh, suggestion for that is you apply that antil sand on the skin by uh, melting that with some milk or water okay here if the snake moves around the skin of the human beings the skin diseases gets cured okay and uh, even today we have the belief if anybody is facing uh, skin allergies okay skin uh, the skin keeps on coming up so they offer puja in any of this snake temples so what are the beliefs associated with old men slept better after its touch old men who had pain after uh, it touched them they became healthy okay and women conceived on the very night they offered milk to it so that was the belief okay in movies also you would have watched plague went and plenty came but moti khan would not smell silver that would be death okay so this snake was beneficial for all the human beings now sometimes at night in caravan sarais they had wrangles means when people traveled okay wherever they stayed so there were disputes there moti khan used to say you are not even a woman to put under one self but so many women come to see you and so many men come to honor you and only a king could have had such a reception though you are only a basket maker so since you used to travel from one place to another playing with uh, uh, playing music for the snake to dance and attracting people it could be for selling his baskets or to get money by playing the flute wherever you used to say people would fight with him saying that you are just a ordinary basket maker but all men follow your feet and women are ready to offer you food only a basket maker but had a queen of a woman and when she sang her voice was all flesh and her flesh flesh was all song and she chewed bitter leaves and her hips were red and even kings so now he is talking about his concubine he says you are calling me just as a basket maker at such a wonderful life okay when my uh, women sang our voice itself was like fresh okay and her flesh was all song okay she is he is describing her beauty and she chewed bitter leaves and her lips were red and even kings were impressed by her that is what i had such a woman with me he says stop that between this and the vision of the rupi moti khan pulled at his beard and fire in his eyes he broke his knuckles against the earth if only i could see a woman if you want god forget women moti khan but i never asked for god it is you who always bore me with god i said i loved a woman you are only a fang beast 
and yeah, I am in the prime of my life with a reptile to live. So this is the this is the discussion that the serpent and this Motikan have. Okay, the serpent is insisting Motikan not to talk about the women, and Motikan says, "Why shouldn't I? I am a man. I am leading my life with a serpent." But suddenly, temple bells rang. And the cuisine was not to Allah or Akbar. No doubt it was all the serpent's work. Trembling, Moti Khan fell on his knees and bent himself in the prayer. Silence. Here Moti Khan is more interested to, be, to lead a manly life. But he is reminded of the saint. He is reminded of the saintly life. Okay. How to evoke religiosity in him? This serpent, since it had the supernatural powers, it ensured that there is musin, okay, which in Indian terms we call it as azan. From that day on, the serpent had one eye turned to the right and one eye to the left when it danced. Okay, means one eye it was watching other people, other other eye it was watching. The serpent had one eye turned to the left. Once it looked at the men and once at the women. And suddenly it used to hiss up and slap Moti Khan's cheek with the back. So this is what it used to do. Okay? Both of you stand up. Stand up. For his music had fallen false and he was eyeing women. Round were the hips, he would think. And the eyelashes are black and dress are pointed like young mangoes. And the limbs so tremble and flow. That he could sweetly melt into them. Okay, once it looked at the men and once at the women, and suddenly it used to his. Okay, for his music had fallen false, and he was dying women. So this, okay, he always used to fantasize. One day, however, there was at the market a dark blue woman. It's young and sprightly, and she was a butter woman. Means one who sells butter, buttermilk. Or butter. She came and stood by Moti Khan as he made the serpent dance. He played and he played on his bamboo kungi, and music swung here and splashed there. And suddenly he looked at her, and her eyes and her breast Nagaswara went and became Mohaswara, and she felt it, and he felt, she felt it. And when night came, he thought a serai door, and she came to the serai gate, flower in her hair and perfume on her lips. But lo, like the sword of God, came a long rippling light circle, reached at her nipples and flew back into the bewildering night. She cried out, and the whole town waked. And Moti Khan pressed the basket under his arm and walked northwards for Allah. And in the women who sells buttermilk. But this serpent is. What's wrong with you? Okay, he was very much impressed. I hope you are aware of the concept of telepathy. Without communicating, they communicate. Without verbal communication, without any type of communication, you do feel the. Okay, like that, he too was very much impressed by this woman who sells buttermilk, and the buttermilk woman also was very much impressed. And he was fantasizing her, and they both met in a particular place. But this serpent did not let them. I have a wonderful time. So, they without communicating, they both came to a particular place. No, it's not a coincidence. Read it properly. Okay. Without communication, they developed interest towards, and they wanted to enjoy that time. At that time, the snake bit her. It was so painful. She cried. The entire city, the entire town, wake up. So he was very much disturbed. Then he started moving towards the north in search of Allah. Now said Moti Khan, "I have to find God, else this creature will kill me." Why? Why is this uh, creature behind him? Is in the previous life he wanted to be with God. He wanted to, to be a devout spiritual person. But in this life, he is not interested towards it. But it, it is acting as a caution to him. 
and the devil knows that hell i would have to bake it so he decided that and the next saint storm he encountered he would sit down and meditate so he decided in the next mosque that i am going to visit or the tomb that i am going to visit i will sit and meditate there in search of god but he wandered and he wandered from one village he went to another from one fair he went to another but he found no darga to meditate by that is how you bring in indianness for god always called him northwards and northwards and he crossed the jungles and he went up the mountains and he became and he came upon narrow valleys where birds screeched here and deer frisked there but no man's voice to be heard so wherever he went he could not find any human beings there only animals and birds okay what is he was afraid and he said now i have to go to the north for allah calls me there and he climbed mountains again and ran through jungles and then came broad plains and he went to the fairs and made the snake dance and people left the rice shops and cotton ware shops and the bellowing cattle and the yoke threshers and the quans and the kilns and came to hear him play the music and to see the snake dance so wherever he went okay people used to people love to watch the snake dance and to listen to his music they gave him food and fruit and cloth but what they said here's a coin he said nay and the snake was right glad of it for he hated to kill moti kan till he had found god and he himself hated to die so another problem with moti kan is he is not supposed to accept coins we should accept only notes in which we discuss one picture on one side and side and even the snake is not ready to die the moment snake bites moti kan moti kan also will die if the snake will also die snake does not want to die therefore it is not biting okay now when moti kan had crossed the narbuda and the pavan and the bagira he came to the jumna and through long agra he passed making the snake dance and yet he could not find god and he was sore in soul with it. and the serpent was bothers he was very much uh, troubled by the by accompanying this snake but at fatehpur sikri he said here is shake just stone and i would rather star on die than go one thumb left more so he decided to stay in fatehpur sikri tomb sorry sheikh chisti's tomb at fatehpur sikri he sat by sheikh chisti's tomb and he said sheikh chisti is this fate has sent me the serpent is very wicked thing he just hisses and spits fire at every wink and waver he says find god now tell me sheikh chisti how can i find him tell i find him i will not leave this spot 